Hello there, Sagittarius. This is Rem from Aces of Rem Tarot, and today we're going to do your love reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So only take what resonates and leave the rest for others. Remember, time is fluid, so only uh, this may be happening in your present, past, or future. And you can switch characters or energies because energies can be vice versa. And please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Uh, this is for the 12th, for the 13th of August and onwards. 13th. 13th. Alright. So what I'm getting here, Sagittarius, um, are the chariots. Um, Archangel Metatron, an important achievement, self-discipline, and willpower, public recognition, and two of air. Um, being unable or unwilling to make a decision, a stale made, pretending there is no problem. So you might be dealing with a cancerian, um, or you have a can you have cancerian in your chart. There is. Uh, indecision here um, you are allowing things to unfold and not really seeing um, the difficulties of the situation this could pertain to finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now and um, I'm also getting the energy of separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. And um, the advice here is to have faith. Trust your faith in this situation. And like attracts like. If you long for more love, be more loving. So we're going to check the energy surrounding you Sagittarius so I have shuffled this cards very well and um, your current energy is the seven of wands the highest that you can attain is the hermit what's underneath you or what's hidden is the ten of wands in your past is the a devil card and the outcome is the seven of swords so what I'm getting here Sagittarius is that um, you are confident of yourself you do not need um, somebody else making the decision for you um, you may be feeling kind of left out in the cold here and maybe refusing any help at this point. Um, that's what I'm getting with the Five of Swords. Or you could be going through some financial issues, um, just like what the Oracle cards are saying. Yes, and then the highest that you can attain is the Hermit. So the Hermit talks about uh, self-discovery, um, isolation, positive solitude, right? And being an advisor, also a light worker. And um, you're given a choice here. Uh, or something is, you're tempted to do something. It could be... Um, isolating yourself or are being separated from this person that you're currently dealing and then we have in what's hidden or what's underneath you is the um, it's the ten of wands so you're kind of tired um, you have heavy loads and it's hard for you to let go of this burden, Sagittarius. Um, this could be this relationship where it's hard for you to separate as separate from the person because I have the reversed hands, man. So in the past, there is a devil energy. So this is being, uh, this is codependency and, um, 
seeing that it is with the uh, wheel, wheel of fortune, it could be, a, yeah, it's a past energy. It could be a person from the past that brought you this. Um, it's like a pattern. There's a pattern in this relationship. It keeps happening to you and you have to stand your ground right here and really make that decision to um let go of this person this is the highest that you can attain you can do it um sagittarius and so we have the uh, eight of we have the sorry we have the eight of swords um being yeah you're being uh the the outcome is you being isolated um or willingly isolating yourself um and this is giving and receiving help but i feel like this brings balance somehow in your life you know isolating or being in that situation where you're separated from the person and that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Thank you guys for uh, coming back and for supporting my channel. And I will always be grateful for your time. You take care. Bye for now.